Audacity 3.1 has new non-destructive editing features. And in non-destructive editing, you get behavior like this. If I were to select a portion of this audio right here, this is Reaper, by the way, and it's a non-destructive editor. So if I were to clip this section out and cut it, it leaves a hole there. First, it creates another clip right here. So now you have two clips and it leaves this clip put. And that is standard behavior for non-destructive editing. Now, if I didn't want it to stay put, I could choose something called ripple editing. And then when I slice that out and cut it, that clip moves to close the gap. There was a person on a podcast editing group that I'm part of that wanted to try out the new non-destructive editing features in Audacity. Audacity didn't used to have any non-destructive editing. It was strictly destructive, which meant that if I cut anything out, it was just gonna delete that section and then leave what's left. It didn't create extra clips to the right of it. So she wanted to try the non-destructive editing features, but she did not want to move any downstream clips to close the gap. So she opened it up. This is Audacity 3.1. It's got non-destructive editing. I am going to go to the preference that says editing a clip can move other clips. And I want that off because I want the gap to be left. Okay. I want it to stay where it is. Anything that remains downstream after I cut it, I want that to stay. So she left that unchecked. You'd think that that would do the trick. So in order to test it, selected some audio and either hit delete on your keyboard like that, I'll undo it, or hit the cut command and you see that it moves. It pulls everything to the right that was left and it connects them, closes the gap. And it also, it doesn't even create an extra clip. It just cuts that piece out. Well, that's destructive behavior. That's not non-destructive editing behavior. And so she was a bit miffed about this. So she asked the question, is there a bug? And the situation is this, Audacity 3.1 has both destructive behavior and non-destructive behavior. You have to kind of know how to engage the non-destructive editing features. So let's just make sure I start from scratch there with the full file. Let's say I want this to be cut out, but I want this leftover piece downstream here to the right to stay where it is and to be a separate clip. What I need to do is right click on the highlighted section and clip on split clip. Okay, now you have split that out into a separate clip. So you have three clips, the part before this section and the part after it. So now if I delete this, it doesn't close the gap. And this is the behavior that she wanted. If, by the way, you did want to close the gap, I'll go ahead and undo that. Uh, you would just go back to preferences and put a tick mark in that box right there. Editing, editing a clip can move other clips. Then if I cut this out, it will close the gap. It's like ripple editing in Reaper. But that wasn't what she wanted. And she was confused when it did destructive behavior when it was supposed to have this new non-destructive editing capability. Well, that's because she did not split the clip out using the right mouse click and split clip command. Now that it's split out, you can just move the cursor to the top until it turns into a hand and drag it around and place it where you would like. That is the non-destructive, oh, by the way, non-destructive meaning now if I wanted to get some of that back, I would just drag the edge there and it would all come back. So that's non-destructive. If you just highlight and hit delete, that's destructive. Hopefully if you had that problem, this will clear it up for you.